Uh, we're now moving on to um, the awards ceremony. And, you know, I was absolutely overwhelmed with the amount. Yeah, I thought that was a better way of doing that. Okay, so thank you, Karen. So the, um, the category is uh, Raising the Profile of General Practice Nursing. Do you want me to announce it straight away? <laughs> so Raising the Profile of General Practice Nursing. The winner is Corrie Llewellyn, Advanced Nurse Practitioner from St. Philan's Medical Centre. Do you want me to say a little bit about you yeah. while you're standing there? <laughs> so Corrie has been nominated for her enthusiasm and leadership in relation to raising the profile of general practice nursing. Corrie has been a lead nurse for her network since October 2008 and, and in this time has led projects relating to the following. Mental health training with a vision that our primary care workforce across Lancashire and South Cumbria can recognise and provide initial support with appropriate signposting for patient population with both mental and physical health conditions. Group consultations. Corrie has started to deliver group consultations for cardiovascular disease despite challenges faced and used the My, app, My Heart Health app to support empowerment with patients. In the digital work, Corrie's embraced digital technology and new ways of working as a digital champion. Fantastic. She's a preceptor Current, she is, she is, Corrie is a preceptor currently supporting a return to practice nurse at her practice. And in summary, Corrie's doing everything more than a lead nurse should do. She's promoting all aspects of GPN 10 point plan and leading by example and working on all projects with enthusiasm. Congratulations. So the category is um, highly commended raising the profile of general practice nursing. Oh. So highly commended is Diane Staines, nurse manager from Longton Health Centre. So Diane has worked for the practice over the last 10 years, moving from practice nurse to nurse manager. Diane looks after a team of HCAs, GPAs and just GPNs and locum nurses. Diane is committed to the role and to the health centre and demonstrates impressive dedication and commitment to the future, to furthering general practice nursing. She's always keen to lead the team and provide expert knowledge, help and advice and she's an expert point of contact for all staff and clinicians when it comes to GPN issues. <laughs> Diane's manner is cool, calm, friendly, in control and in charge of her environment, making her an excellent leader, work colleague and general practice nurse. She's, she has many a time been the person who is the first point of contact in an emergency situation. I'm glad I'm standing next to you. <laughs> her strength of character and skills calm down and put at ease many a patient and a patient relative, often in stressful situations. Diane, last, last year, took part in the general practice, NH, general practice NHS Forward View training, in which another member of the team gained an award for the work that they did towards group consultations. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Good work. So the winner for the rising star is Hannah McLaughlin. Is she here? She had to leave. Ah, I'm Hannah McLaughlin. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to hit 
say a little bit about you? So Hannah's dedication and commitment to furthering herself has resulted in her recently gaining a first-class honours degree from the University of Central Lancashire School of Nursing. During her time in the first in, on the final student placement at Waterford Medical Centre, it became apparent that Hannah was a highly motivated, compassionate individual with a real commitment to enhancing the quality of care provided to patients. Waterford Medical Centre has subsequently employed Hannah as a practice nurse, fantastic, and a keen to develop her skills in this role. During her brief time with the practice, both on student placement and as an employee, Hannah achieved the following. She worked with the practice team, veterans in community and, on our, and our patients to achieve armed forces veteran friendly GP practice accreditation. Fantastic. Active participation in the East Lancashire Student Nurse Forum, where Hannah acted as an advocate for pursuing a career in general practice nursing. She took a lead on improving the general health and well-being of our patient population by proactively promoting the benefit of NHS health checks for patients, increasing the practice re referral rates to the local up and active service. Hannah actively engaged with the integrated neighbourhood team to ensure our patients received coordinated health and social care. She fostered relationships with our learning disability patients through home visits and a personalised care approach that demonstrated a commitment to continued learning, for example, through signing up for the General Practice Preceptorship Programme. Fantastic achievement. Do we have a picture? So the highly commended winner in the Rising Star category is Kelly Greenwood. Kelly here. Hi Kelly, congratulations. So I'll tell you a little bit about you. <laughs> Kelly is, is described as a breath of fresh air to our surgery and a sponge soaking up new skills and information having come from a completely different nursing environment. Kelly compliments our team and is always smiling and helpful. The patients love her. Kelly's an excellent role model for student nurses. Uh, enthusiasm oozes out, uh, out of her and student nurses have commented on her dedication and mentoring skills. Encouraging other nurses to follow in her footsteps into practice nursing, recognize the opportunities that general practice brings. Congratulations. <laughs> So the winner in the Outstanding Healthcare Support Worker category is Angela Diva. Diva. She here? From Garsling Medical Centre. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations, well done. I'll read a little bit about you. So Angela is a pivotal member of our nursing team. Her dedication to a profession she loves means she brings a wealth of valuable experience to the team. Her enthusiasm for life is reflected in her can-do pro proactive attitude. Brilliant. Angela works in extended capacity. She's, she's, she is experienced in wound care and along with her nursing colleagues, she's competent to support patients and their families to make informed choices about their treatment and care. Her ability to encourage gives people confidence to self-care as able. Performing the pre-diabetic annual checks, she's extended, it has extended Angela's role further. Training to safe, safely perform foot checks is something Angela has embraced. She's vigilant about managing skills and is confident to know the boundaries of her role when it comes to report con reporting concerns. She's kind and generous in her friendship and shows compassion and sensitivity to patients and their families, as well as her colleagues. She's extremely well liked in the community and giving of her time and baking skills to support causes to help meet individuals' needs. We like a baker. I am, I'm a baker. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, 
they're working me hard. <laughs> so the highly commended in outstanding HC healthcare support worker is Michelle Curtis from Overwire Medical Center. Oh, you've come to get it. Oh. Fantastic. Yes, Michelle. <laughs> so just a few words on Michelle. Michelle shows outstanding care and compassion to those that she comes into contact with, and she's a highly regarded member of the team. Do you want to give that to her? Yeah. Do you want to give the envelope as well? There you go. She'll love that. And the winner for Outstanding Leadership goes to Jane Swarbrick. Fantastic. Congratulations. So Jane is an exceptional nurse who's been leading a number of initiatives across her primary care network. Jane leads by example and is an active member of the GPN Collaborative and an excellent role model. Jane is leading a number of programs including the introduction of human factors into sing significant and significant event analysis, uh, personalized healthcare plans. Fantastic, a year on since we first talked about that. Jane is a digital champion and is leading a project that is cloud-based so that all staff invited to join any group meeting can do so. The project was initially set up to support the diabetic hub with Jane exploring the options to build on the learning designating a, a virtual hub. Jane's innovative approach to new developments demonstrates advanced leadership skills. She utilizes different approaches for different projects and deals with challenges as they occur, always ensuring that she is solution focused. Fantastic. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. And the highly commended in outstanding leadership goes to Angela Omerod. From Irwell Medical Center. Come, I've got to say a few bits about you. <laughs> so she's been nominated for her continued dedication to the team and her work within the practice. Angela shows commitment to her patients and constantly strives to deliver the highest quality care. She thoroughly deserves to be nominated. Fantastic. Enjoy it. Oh, you deserve it. Thank you. So the winner for digital innovation in general practice goes to Fiona Gill Are you off? come here for Fiona this time yeah congratulations Fiona so Fiona has embraced being a digital champion and has led a number of initiatives within the practice, including empowering patients to use apps to support self-management. Fiona is the go-to digital nurse lead with the practice and keen to support others to use digital technology to change the way that care is delivered. Congratulations. And the highly commended in that category of digital innovation in general practice goes to Lorraine Jones. Oh, 
Congratulations. So Lorraine has embraced technology with the team, with, with, with team colleague Claire. Lorraine and Claire have made a Facebook page for the practice and video informing patients of forthcoming events. Lorraine is about to pilot video consultations. I need to get in touch with you. <laughs> and also has become a champion in encouraging and inspiring others to use technology within the practice, including sending information, health promotion links to patients' mobile phones when, when in consultations. Fantastic. Because we're about to, we really want to do some work next year with nurse Skype video consultations. So you're probably the go to person. So we're moving on now to the poster competition that um, everybody entered. Um, and you know, we're not going to have to do Okay. So the poster competition then, the Im improving patient experience category. So improving patient experience, the winner is the military veteran poster submitted by Waterford Medical Center. Anybody here? Come on, you're representing the practice. Fantastic. Congratulations. Do you want another picture? And the highly commended in that category for the loneliness poster was submitted by Vicky Hardwick from Cornerstone Practice. She's great. She's winning lots of awards, this lady. There you go. You can take it. So the poster, Developing Embedding Innovation in General Practice. The winner is the Life at Risk poster submitted by the Lancashire South Cumbria Leadership Group. Anybody who's got that group, please come forward. Oh no, same lady. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else is coming. A double picture. <laughs> and in the highly commended category, the digital medical photography in general praxis, practice submitted by Kath Grimshaw from Clayton Medical Center. This is another poster winner for embedding digital technology tech in general practice. So the winner is the respiratory poster submitted by Overwild Medical Center. How do you pronounce that? Wile. Wire. Wire. <laughs> Overwire Medical Center by John McPhee. Overwire. Great. Yes, and do you want, oh, hang on a second. And I'll just announce the highly commended was the improve assessment for leg wounds and earlier ABPI readings using automated machine submitted by Ash Tree, Me Ash Tree Surgery. Is that another category, Ash Tree Surgery? Last. And again, for a poster category, sharing best practice. The winner is the Up and Active poster submitted by Waterford Medical, Medical Centre by Bob Seeley. Is that you, Bob? Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. And in the highly commended, it's the pre-diabetes group consultation poster submitted by St. Philan's Medical Centre by Corrie Llewellyn. Fantastic. Well done to everybody that won and fantastic for everybody else that stayed till the end of the day to congratulate everybody. Thank you very much, Karen. Uh, I think, you know, it is so important to be recognised for what you do. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, we can't give uh, awards out to everybody, but absolutely, you know, for the fantastic work that you, or each and every one of you do in practice every day, you know, just a, a huge thank you. And, uh, you know, I hope you continue to uh, do that, but also work uh, with your leads within the primary care networks. And, uh, and it, it is an exciting time. Um, you heard, you know, the challenges that we've got, but it's actually Lancashire and South Cumbria, we believe, you know, it's the place to be. So uh, thank you all very much indeed. I think one of our, your colleagues just wants to have a few words. <laughs> right, congratulations to everybody, to all the winners, and to everybody else for being here until this time. Uh, I won't keep you two takes honest. It's just that um, my name's Dawn Dawson, I'm a practice nurse, and I am the chair of Northwest Practice Nurse Forum. So, for people that have been before, absolutely be fantastic if we could see you back. Um, and for anybody who hasn't been before, I do have an email here for Julie or Juju. She's our secretary. It's absolutely brilliant. We've got the first one on the 7th of January. Um, it's at Preston Grasshoppers, so it's got a lovely motorway link. <coughs> if anybody, oh, excuse me, <coughs> who's coming for Nefar? Um, it really is a great group of ladies and gents. Um, we're trying to build it back up again. It had sort of like depleted a little bit, but we have fantastic speakers coming in once a month. It's for two and a half hours, you get fed. <laughs> that doesn't sell it. Uh, <laughs> you get, we have fantastic speakers and we have a couple of um, sponsors that come in. But it's great for networking too. Um, so if anybody's interested, it's £25 for the year. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if we all go to your practice managers and say, right, there's no chance <laughs> you're struggling to find that. Um, or oh, if not, £25 for a year, you do get fed every time. We do have fantastic speakers, and it would be lovely to see you there. The first one in the new year is the 7th of January at Preston Grasshoppers, so it'd be lovely if you could come along. If not, you can also come and see me in a sec. I'll just be over there on that table, and I'll give you an email address, and we can get these emails out to you to let you know what's going on throughout the year. Okay, thank you. If I can just ask you to complete your evaluation forms that are on your tables, that's really helpful in terms of um, our next conference next year. Um, and that was why, you know, last year, I think it, those that you came, we had 10 workshops, but people felt that a smaller number and more people being able to access those was better, hence um, today. So we do try to take on board what you said. Uh, and while you're just doing that, a huge thank you to everybody that's come today. I know that it's hard in general practice to find the time out, uh, but thank you so much, and thank you practice managers as well. Thank you to all the speakers, and, uh, and for Karen uh, for coming up to uh, be with us today as well. I think it's really important when we get senior leaders like Declan and Talib as well, um, and um, Angie from the Q&I. So, yeah, thank you very much. And to Layla, I couldn't manage any of these events without Layla. So a huge thank you for all the work that's gone on in the background and, uh, and today. So, and thank you to John for live streaming this. This is something new to me and something new. But uh, there's always a first, and that's what we say, onwards and upwards and keep that digital going. And uh, I think, it, you know, there's huge opportunities. Uh, so... Keep in touch, and uh, it'd be nice to hear from you all, and particularly all the new digital champions, you will be hearing from us, so thank you very much indeed.